My name is Zheng Xinliao. I'm a radiation oncologist specialized in lung cancer treatment and uh, I work in MD Anderson Cancer Center. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to share uh, the results of a basin randomization trial of intensity modulated radiation therapy versus three-dimensional passive scattered proton therapy for locally advanced lung muscle lung cancer. I also need uh, to disclose that uh, this, uh, uh, re uh, this research was supported by a PO1 and a uniting grant from NCI. We hypothesized that uh, the proton therapy will reduce the lung exposure in, uh, during the concurrent chemoradiation therapy, therefore reduce pneumonitis. Also maintain the same uh, tumor control when the tumor dose is the same. In this case, we used the BED of 1.1. The rationale for the trial design uh, in the current trial that is that we chose a basic adaptive randomization to allow more patients allocate to the more effective treatment if a difference exists between the arms. Otherwise, patients will be uh, assigned with equal pro probability to either treatment. We also uh, choose to randomize only those patients who had both IMRT and the proton plans that met dose constraints at the same prescription dose before we start treatment. The primary objective was uh, uh, pneumonitis, grade three or above. The historically, IMRT, after IMRT is about 15%, and after proton treatment is 5%. Local failure is the same in uh, both arms, 15% at six months and 25% at 12 months. So this is the randomization schema. We included the patient diagnosed with uh, stage uh, 2 to 3B, stage 4, and the recurrent lung smooth lung cancer patient. And the way all, all the patients had a PET scan and a CT, 4D CT simulation. And we also had endpoint evaluation internal outcome uh, review committee and the external experts to review our outcomes to make sure the consistency and the objectivity of our endpoint evaluation. This is the protocol consortium, as you can see that we enrolled 272 patients, 274 here uh, because the two patients were consent twice. 225 patients had a, a pair of comparable plans developed and 105 of them randomized to MRT, 76 randomized to PROTA, and among them, only a proportion of them were treated according to pre, uh, um, randomization. We had a total 26 patients denied insurance coverage for protocol treatment, and eight patients just chose to have PROTA. There's no difference in basic uh, demographics uh, in between the arms. However, if you look at the t uh, target volumes, the gross tumor volume, the uh, uh, final planning target volume was bigger in the proton arm. And actually the difference is almost uh, significant statistically. However, even with a higher tumor volume, higher, uh, more, uh, higher proportion of patients actually in proton arm received a higher dose of radiation. If you look at the lung volume that exposed uh, into different levels of dose, the uh, proton uh, spared the low dose volume, however, uh, irradiated larger volume um, in, of the lung at the high dose uh, level. However, heart, uh, the heart is always spared with the proton treatment. There is no difference in protocol failure as uh, defined as grade three pneumonitis or local failure. We had uh, significantly fewer events in this current study compared to our historical uh, design. For example, the uh, pneumonitis rate was uh, only 6.5% compared to 15% of our historical control, and the local failure is only 10.7% compared to 25% in our historical control. On the other hand, the uh, pneumonitis rate in the proton arm was uh, slightly higher than expected. I also want to point out that there were only six events in each arm of the study, and the two of the six uh, events in the IMRT arm was actually fatal event. There's no fatal event in the proton arm. If you look at the time of enrollment in the trial, patient enrolled after September 2011 did much better, uh, both in MRT and the 3D uh, pr proton treatment. Uh, suggesting a learning and improvement continuously happening around the pro performance of the trial. Overall survival is actually excellent because we included the patient with stage 4 uh, disease and the recurrent disease and in this group 
we had overall median survival time 28.8 months and 29.5 uh, months and 26.1 months after MRT versus the uh, 3D conformal proton, respectively. There's no difference between the arms. However, this certainly is comparable with the, the most published data of RTLG 617. We also did a similar uh, analysis for patients who uh, as treated, uh, treatment received, and the um, findings are quite similar, and the, the um, overall survival maintains at 28.3 uh, and 29 months. An example to show here is that the 3D conformal proton actually uh, included a high, uh, uh, larger volume at the high dose area. That's probably explained the uh, reason that we see slightly increased pneumonitis in the group. In conclusion, considerably few events occurred in our current study, which suggests that both IMRT and the proton treatment are excellent treatment modality for this group of patients. 3D conformal proton therapy significantly reduced the heart uh, exposure to unwanted radiation therapy, and uh, the larger lung volume irradiated at a high dose in the proton arm probably can explain the impact on the pneumonitis. Insurance denial in this trial certainly impacted on the patient allocation and the uh, number balance between the two arms. There was no difference in protocol failure when we have a pair of comparable plans before we start treatment. And uh, there is no um, difference uh, when, uh, in a protocol failure when one plan is better and we use a better plan to treat the patients. The data is not shown, however, you can refer to the uh, full presentation slide stack. Uh, therefore, future designs of the trials should allow use of the best achievable plans for each modality in terms of uh, prescription dose and uh, or uh, normal tissue sparing and the plan evaluation actually is a quite reasonable way to select the patient for proton or MRT. Uh, finally, patient enrolled after September 27, 2011 did better even though the follow-up time is uh, six months shorter, indicating that continuous learning and improving on both MRT and the proton has been ongoing. Thank you for the opportunity to share my uh, results of the research.